Hey everybody, it's Deanna with toolsofenergyprotection.com and I want to make sure that I'm on and that the sound is working. So if you're jumping on with me and you can hear me, if you give me a couple of thumbs up, I tried it a little bit earlier and it seems like the sound wasn't working. So I do apologize for that and I'm going to see if I can hear my own video, which will give a little reverb here. Hey everybody, it's yep. Deanna with Yep, all right, so it sounds like you should, whoops, now it turns off. Give me a couple of thumbs up. There we go. <laughs> All right, so it sounds like we do have sound. So welcome to September 24th, 2019. And the energy shifts are just extremely crazy right now. We are having all kinds of issues and problems in our personal life. We're having issues and problems in our work lives and just really all over the board. So if you're feeling these energies, just know that what's happening, oh good, thank you Chelsea, you said I sounded good, thank you, big hugs and kisses to you, um, is um, there's just a lot. And I'm going to unravel for you as much as I can of what's going on as quickly as I can. So if you've been watching the feed on Facebook, um, last weekend I put up a three card spread and I did that the weekend before for you to choose one. And they looked something like this. And um, everybody thought they were fabulous and we're waiting for the reveal. So if you're watching this, just know that um, I will put up cards like this usually on the weekend. And then the following day, and I'll post in the comments when I'm doing it, I'll post the same cards in reverse order and tell you the meaning for that time. And I had some folks that would pick their cards and then they forgot to go back and check and so they didn't know um, what had happened. So please just know that I do write in the notes where the cards are posted when I'm going to be posting those so that you know. Now, moving along to the energy shifts for this week, there are so many symptoms. There's so many signs of this shift and it really depends on um, who you are, uh, what, where you are in your life, as to which one of these symptoms that you may be feeling. So I'm gonna do the best I can to go through as many as I have heard in the last week. Um, uh, one in person says, when is it going to change? <laughs> oh, we might answer that later. <laughs> anyway, so I took out three cards and in those three cards, I turned them over and I put them out and I had so many people comment back to me both privately and on the Facebook feed that these cards described exactly what they've been going through. So that helped me to know across the board what people are feeling. So understanding um, these frequencies, they are bioelectromagnetic, which controls the physical body, which also has a bearing on the mind, and it has a bearing on the way that the mind processes your spiritual connection. So it's spiritual connection, your mind that you process things through, your heart with your emotions and your body. So this is normal. This is part of the human experience. And if you go look astrologically at where the stars are lined up right now, especially if you can look back over the last two months, you're gonna see formations that we haven't seen in hundreds of years, sometimes thousands of years. And there's reasons for that, because a human lifespan is usually about 100 years or a little less. And it's during that time that we learn. So if things are really going to be given to each human during their lifespan, about a 100-year cycle is going to do it. It also depends on how awake and how aware you are. There's, I think, a billion people on this planet, probably more than that, and people that know statistics are probably laughing at me, but I don't look at that. But I know there's a lot of folks, and a lot of those folks are feeling it, and they don't know why, and a lot of those folks are not feeling it. And so first I'd like to cover why do some people feel it and some people don't. If you're feeling this energy shift, that means that you are an empath. It means that you are highly sensitive. It means that you were designed to feel these energies, heal yourself, and help the planet to heal and help other people to heal and to be a light. And I talked last week to three different uh, ladies about my age, 
that are just now waking up and understanding that this is part of their life and why they have been in the positions they've been, which is usually miserable or not having good self-esteem and some other things. And then why is it that some people don't feel these shifts? Why do they seem oblivious? Generally, I'm gonna be real. It's because they're, they're numbed out or they're part of the population that isn't aware. There are some people here that just simply aren't aware of the bigger picture. It just is. It's not bad or good. It's not right or wrong. Some people are oblivious. But some people are also numbing out. And numbing out means that, you know, they're not wanting to face any reality whatsoever. They just go through life with like blinders on. Like those horses that used to pull carriages and they had blinders on them so that they couldn't see but what was right in front of them. And so anything that you use in your life that causes you not to deal with real life on a daily basis, in, especially in excess, is numbing out. You can do it with TV. You can do it with uh, social media. Anything that keeps you from engaging in what's in here and what's in here. And if you're a proponent of the Bible and you've ever read it, it says that you need to watch your heart and your mind, guard your heart and your mind. And there's reasons for that, because that heart and that mind is what navigates you through this world. And if you're having trouble right now, this is part of the encouragement, the urging the sense of urgency that's going on that God's spirit or source has put in place for each one of us that's feeling it. And you're asking, how can I work with it? Here, somebody says, I feel this way. When is it going to change? Well, let me see if there's any more comments. And if anybody else has any questions, feel free to pop them in there. Um, it's not going to change. You are the one that has to shift, transform, or the C word, change. And change is not easy. Hi, uh, Jennifer, as I'm finding out. Because I'm shifting again in my life so I can be better service to you. I can be a better parent to my beautiful daughter. And I can be a better person to myself. And that's not easy because you've got to look at the dark side. For those of you that have been in the metaphysical world for a long time, you've heard of shadow work or darker work. And this is similar yet different. So instead of shadow work, I have nicknamed it dark work. Because this is the stuff that we're not even aware of. Can I see hearts from those of you that are watching tonight? or thumbs up, or a crying face, whatever emoji you want, that you're really feeling this too, that you're feeling like you're struggling, like you're frustrated, like you're fatigued, like you don't know what to do. You don't know which end is up. Can I get some thumbs up, please, so I can make sure that I'm addressing the right thing to the audience tonight? Okay, thank you for those. All right, so there's several things that are happening in this dynamic shift. And I, I, my desired outcome is not to sound like doom and gloom, but it's to let you know that this is a serious time. And the Bible says there's a time to laugh and a time to cry. There's a time to plant and there's a time to harvest. And you can go read it for yourself. There's all kinds of times. This is a time to be serious. This is a time to look at what's happening in your life and dig deeper. If you've been doing shadow work, congratulations. So did I. <laughs> and then I thought that was done. And now it's like, no, this is the dark work. So when you were younger, in your formative years, there were a lot of things going on around you at that time that you may not have been aware of. You, they may be family things, they, all kinds of things. And you were taking that information in as a small child and you couldn't process it. It was just more like a sponge and it went into your mind. And if you will, on our computers, we have lots of files. So you might label a file um, vacation stuff. 
or a tax step. When you need it, you click on it and you open it. Well, your mind is much the same way. So there were a lot of files coming in as a child. How do I handle money? Well, whatever your parents, however they did it. If they were wealthy, then you have that feeling towards money. If they were always telling you we don't have enough to get that toy, that's how you feel about money. If they were always worried about time, I know time is an issue that I'm guilty of talking about. You know, how did they deal with time? I'm always rushing around up until now, trying to get everything done instead of prioritizing and downloading to other people to handle and expecting that they will. That's what's going on for me. But each one of us has something we're dealing with. Most people, it's wealth or uh, interpersonal relationships, family, friends, cousins. You grew up seeing those things. I had one lady that came to see me a couple of weeks ago, and there was a lot of infighting going on in her family with her cousins. And I said, well, what did the generation before you do? And she said, they fought a lot. It's programmed. So whatever it is for you has more than likely been programmed from the time you were very young and you are doing nothing more than opening, clicking on the file, whatever it is, health, wealth, romance, those are the big three, and you're clicking on it and you're bringing up the past from when you were a child and you're replaying it. And that is dark work. Not that everything in our childhood was dark. I have great memories from when I was younger, riding horses and bareback at that. <laughs> But there's things in our lives that repeat, just like breathing in and out, or how we treat um, going to bed at night. Do you have a ritual or routine, or did you just watch your parents come home fatigued, take a shower, eat dinner, and fall into bed? It can really be that simple. And food is another thing. How do, how do you treat your body? Do you feed it with good food? Do you just jack yourself up on coffee or Red Bull or whatever the latest thing is? And then have sugar later when you feel yourself dropping from that high? Or do you watch your proteins and your alkalinity in your body and keep things on the up and up? And I know some choices that I've made with food haven't been stellar either. And I would like to change overnight. I'd like to throw everything away in my house, go to the health food store, buy everything I need, get the recipe books and start tomorrow. But I can tell you that human behavior, unless you're in an emergency situation, does not play that way. The only people I've ever seen change overnight are people that maybe had a stroke and they, they're trying to come back from that or a heart attack or something else, just cancer sometimes. And they're coming back and they're aware of their health more than they were before. And they just change. I know, I, I'm sorry, I don't remember if it was a friend or a client, but somebody told me that they literally threw away hundreds of dollars of food in one day and filled their house back with good stuff that day. And I don't know about you, but I don't quite have the budget for that. <laughs> but what I'm saying is that these changes are not easy. And you may have felt them over the last couple of days weeks and you may be beating yourself up like why can't I get past this this should be easy that's because this is dark work this goes down to the genetics so if you're desiring to change there are steps that you can take to get yourself started it's getting started and staying with it and making incremental changes that's the most challenging and that's why I'm a little irritable tonight and not my happy lovey self because I'm worn out and it's only Tuesday because I'm attempting to create new behavioral patterns and it's not easy. I did great last week but this week it's like it's, it's just something within me is fighting it and that's the shadow or the darker work. So anyway, I see that I've kind of lost a couple of followers since I started. So uh, sometimes speaking truth drives people away. They want to hear how things are all wonderful and unicorny and fairy tale-ish. So 
for those of you that are sticking with it. I appreciate it. Hi, Patty. Glad to see you. Uh, Jennifer, um, give me a thumbs up. You said, I'm sorry, I was just looking at the feed. You said, what is shadow work? So if I answered that for you adequately, please give me a thumbs up. Hi, Diane and uh, hi, Danny. Glad to have both of you aboard tonight. So let's move on. So again, I had put up um, on my on my Facebook page, uh, I think it was on Instagram also, the cards, there's three of them. I asked people which one you're drawn to and put it in the comments below. And then the next day I will post um, the cards in a new post. So you've got to go back and look for that. I did have some people um, not so happy because they kept waiting for me to show the cards and you know read. That's all I can tell you is read. I'm doing the best I can to, to let you know what's happening, but if you don't read, you can't know. So anyway, the first card that I pulled is called New Life. Okay, it's a new life. And this is gal stretching up. It's, it's really um, a pretty uh, picture. This is uh, Co Colette uh, Baron reed It's her deck. Um, and the new life that we're, we're coming into is we're waking up from patterns, behaviors, generational things, if you will, a generational curse or hex that has no bearing on who we are. Now, there's good stuff. There's wonderful things that the generations have brought to us. And those are good things to keep. But the, but if you're going to go into a new life, if you're going to be more blessed, if you're going to be more happy, if you're going to expand into this new energy, which is asking us to live our dreams. Can you imagine if you had a genie and a, and a lamp and you rubbed it and the genie popped out and said, I'll grant you three wishes? Be honest. Wouldn't you rub the lamp? I sure would. <laughs> this energy is that lamp, people. You want to live your dreams? Rub the lamp. And what that looks like is last week we talked about tools. I told you every week I would bring tools. This is a journal. I told you to get a pencil or pen. Make notes in your journal for the last couple weeks. Hope you've been doing the homework. To see what's happening in your mind and your body and your soul. That's key to transforming because if you don't know your patterns and you don't know your habits and you don't look at them, then you can't change them. And God's spirit or source, oh, thank you for the heart. <laughs> God's spirit or source is asking us to move forward so that He can be that genie in the lamp and give us the things that we desire in our heart. And a lot of us are refusing to move forward. And I was frustrated Monday and Tuesday because last week I made some pretty dynamic shifts in my life that I could support. I drew some boundaries, if you will, that I could support. And I did great last week. And I was like, woohoo, you know, it's great. This is wonderful. And this week I had to do it again. And you would think, oh, this was a great result last week, so I'm going to keep going. But what ends up happening is your ego jumps out and it says, oh, I want to keep you safe. I don't want you to have this new life because we don't know what it is. It's too scary, right? <laughs> Halloween's coming up. <laughs> Maybe you can be your ego for Halloween. <laughs> but this is the human mind. The, the human mind is mapped to keep us in pass. That's why people like routines because it keeps us going in a certain direction. And if whatever direction you're going in doesn't feel good, it's time to change the path. But just know that when you do, you can ask God's spirit or source for help and know that it's happening before you even ask it. But you're also dealing with the human mind. And that's my main message tonight is you have got this beautiful divine relationship that can help you move forward in your life, can help you with healing your heart, but you've also got this human brain in between this and this. And that human brain wants things to stay normal. It does not like change. So you've got to have some tools to help yourself move forward. If you can do it without tools and just change your mind like that, I'd like for you to write me right away and let me know because it's a million dollar idea. <laughs> All right, number two. Treasure Island, this was another card that I pulled. So this isn't a turtle, 
We have the treasure chest on his back. It's really quite lovely. But he's in the middle of water. He's swimming. He is moving. If you really want or desire the treasures that God's spirit resource has in mind for you, and you're going to open that chest and let those things out, you have got to take action. And I'm going to be very blunt and probably not very nice. But I've had a number of people come and ask me, you know, I've been praying for a job and I haven't got a job yet. I can't find work. And my first question is, where are you looking? How many people have you called? How many hands have you shook? How many, you know, they don't really do it. This is kind of old school. But in the old days, you'd go door to door with your resume and hand it to people. And there's new school ways I'm sure I'm not aware of. But if you just put your resume up on whatever monster jobs and sit back and expect somebody to answer it, probably won't happen. You've got to get out there and take action, whatever that looks like. Call everybody you know. You know, go down to a local store and, and say, hey, I'm looking for work and this is what I do. You know, it may not be very eloquent. I think it was about 10 years ago I heard of a man who needed an engineering job and nobody was hiring him. So he went and rented a window out of the storefront and he set up a little office in there, a little desk and a little chair and people walked by and looked at him. And he was looking for, for a job all day long, but he wanted people to see him. I think he put his resume in the window, but I don't remember. And he eventually got a job. Unusual, I know. I'm not suggesting everybody go rent and, and get all the storefronts because then there won't be any left. But <laughs> anyway, this other card we turned over is called um, In Between the Worlds. And it's a flamingo, half in darkness and half in beauty and color. And that is where I feel like I'm at right now. I'm half and half. If any of you watching feel the same way, can you give me a thumbs up or uh, a smiley face or a heart? Because that's where a lot of us feel is in between these worlds. And the symptoms are going to be very much like the ones I'm having, where you take a step forward and you do really, really super good for a week. And then something changes or shifts, and then you're back to, to not wanting to do the work. It's scary. I suggest you get a support system. You get friends you can call. Right? Keep you going forward. Other things that people have reported to me are, uh, are fatigue, huge amounts of fatigue. People are telling me um, they're tired a lot. This is also normal. Stay hydrated. If you need help, seek it. Get your health care provider to help you with vitamins or nutrients. Your body may be changing with all these energy shifts, and you may need some help. Well, thank you for the hearts. So it, it's just a lot to handle right now. And the only way that you can do it is take bite-sized pieces, draw out a plan. Just one little step at a time, okay? There's so much to deal with. And I'm usually that, you know, 100-pound weightlifter person, you know, 100 pounds. And maybe I can only lift 50. So i got to scale back a little bit or I'm going to hurt myself. And then, of course, I'm talking spiritually. <laughs> All right, so there's several things on the table right now um, to offer you that I've talked about. And um, I've already had a couple people come on board with uh, something my guides were working with me on called the new 12-star method. And so what this is is different, 12 different frequencies that um, people are being, um, that, that I'm connecting them to, if you will. They're like, um, hard to describe, they're like, tubes of energy that are helping uh, the ones that have joined on board to, to work through these things a lot easier, to be more supported. To, it's, it's designed to shift the very genes and chromosome frequency in your body. And yes, this is possible. Through the electromagnetic frequency, through the connection with God's spirit or source, that's what I've been doing, and I um, advertised that last week, and I got a few people on board, and I'm really going to push that because I'd like to have 25 people who are ready to feel this shift go faster, to feel more energy, to feel a better range of energies, to feel supported, um, to make it easier, 
I'm going to be working directly with their genetic code. And you're like, well, what does that look like? So I had uh, one person I worked with recently. They're having a lot of liver and kidney issues. And it turns out that they struggle with anger and anxiety. And that's a repeat pattern for them emotionally. When we look back at the family dynamic and the family history, we found out that both parents had the same issue. That's genetic. That's chromosomes. And that frequency carried from the mother to the child and from the father's genes to the child. If you think that the genes just make us look the way they do, you know, we do, or act the way we do, it goes to the core. It has to do with predisposition of your physical body, and that can be changed. So I have a new uh, method called the 12-star 12, 12 method, and so far I've been asking people to just message me because I'd like to see if it's a fit before you get started. So that's one thing that's available to you. Uh, Thursday at For Heaven's Sakes Books, I'm going to be working from 11 to 5. I think there's two or three slots left at this point. You can get an hour, half hour, and that's 303-964-9339. One of my clients asked me to repeat it, so it's 303-964-9339, and call during business hours and get on the schedule, and we can put the 12-star system you know, in place for you if you like, or we can just talk about what's going on with you in the, in the blocks and shift those energies, because people are, people are like, well, what's an energy shift? Well, it's a bit like a boil or maybe even a pimple. And all this gooey, nasty stuff comes up to the surface that the body's kicking out because it doesn't want it in it anymore. And you can let it go naturally, but it's much faster if you just, you know, lacerate it and let all that stuff come out. It heals faster. So energy work is much like that. And if you are on Facebook um, and you click on my name up here in the corner and go back to my main page, you can go and look at the reviews that other people have left of what they've experienced in working with me. So if that's something you'd like to do um, and you'd like to schedule maybe a half an hour to see what it's like, I don't have any half hours really um, on my uh, automatic uh, calendar, but I've put a few up. I think there's like six 30-minute slots and you can go to Tools of Energy Protection, click on Sessions, and scroll down if you don't see it, private message me and we'll get you hooked up. But I have two time periods um, for those energy shifting appointments. One is going to be this coming up Thursday and one will be on Friday. So that gives me double the time to, to help folks. And um, I've worked with people in Kansas recently. So if you're not, you know, in the Denver, Colorado area, no problem. Just call and we'll do a phone appointment or we can do it on a platform called Zoom, which is much like this, but it's private. So let me see if I have any questions in the feed. Um, and I want to thank everybody for joining me tonight. I know this was rather lengthy, but these energy shifts are just, they're horrific. Um, there's no polite way to put it. And, and like I said, I'm, you may notice I'm not even my normal happy, lovey self. And it's just because I'm doing the work. I'm, I'm looking at that dark stuff and healing it if I can. <laughs> but anyway, the tool bag for this week is a little on the empty side, right? But you're like, okay, that's not good. If Deanna has an empty tool bag for energy protection, that's not uh, good. Um, but it comes down to the things I keep showing you over and over again repeatedly. And one is a journal. Get yourself a journal. Write bullet statements about how you felt. How'd your body feel? You know, how'd your mind feel? Um, because even though you think, oh, I know my patterns. I don't need to write it down. Let me tell you what. When you start writing things down and then you go back a week later, or even a month, and you see you keep doing the same patterns over and over again, it's quite enlightening. <laughs> And then the other tool, which is my favorite, um, is water. Stay hydrated during these energy changes. I cannot express to you enough how important it is to stay hydrated. If you have a lot of anxiety and stress, try magnesium. 
Magnesium is a good stress reliever. It's a five-sided element that helps take toxins out of the body. But if you use it, just make sure and drink plenty of water. Your body will need to flush. And exercise is always good. Even if you could just walk around the block, um, you do a Pilates. I found out you can do a Pilates in your house, you know, right there. You don't need to go anywhere. Don't need a gym. Just need a place to lay down. Whatever your, your choice is. But get some exercise this week as much as you can, okay? And that's all I have. I, unless my feed is frozen, I'll check on one other spot. Unless my feed is frozen, I don't see any questions. So either all of you are just taking this in and absorbing it and maybe feeling a little bit somber. I don't, whoops, there we go. Uh, no, I don't see anything else. But we're going to get through this. It's a tough time, but we're going to get through this. Through the power of God's spirit or source, through taking care of yourself, listening to your body. I'm offering to help you energetically to shift things. I'm also offering some uh, genetic and chromosome shifts. I know that's a little out there. And I had announced in my Facebook feed last week that there's a lot of things that God's spirit or source shares with me. And I don't usually share it publicly because people aren't ready to accept it or they're not ready to work with it. And I got a nudge last week on that 12-star method. I haven't even fully, I just finished up with it myself, and I'm starting the next round. And, you know, God's Spirit or Source said, get out there and share it now. And I'm like, but it's not fully developed. Share it now. <laughs> so this work is so important. If, you, if you're desiring to reach out and this is your first time and you're teetering on whether to or not to, reach out. Let's get together for at least half an hour. You can come down to the bookstore on Friday and even get discounted rates. So I hope that each and every one of you have a great and wonderful evening. Get some rest. Eat healthy foods. Make wise choices. Those are the tools for this week. I hope to see you soon. I'm going to do some live videos on Instagram and Facebook uh, as much as I can every day this week to help everybody get through. So if you haven't clicked like or follow on either one of those pages, I suggest that you do so that you can get the updates when they come. Oh, it looks like I might have one more question. Okay. Oh, uh, so, uh, Michelle, it looks like, says hello. So hello, Michelle. Glad that you joined us. And then one person said they wish they were in Denver. That's not a problem. You can do this energy clearing uh, simply on the phone. In, in Like I said, there's a platform called Zoom, kind of like FaceTime, and I actually have FaceTime so we can see each other in real time. Please don't let that stop you. Uh, if you'd like to reach out, just private message me, uh, Carolyn, and we'll see what we can do to help you. All right. Have a great and wonderful night. Big kisses and big hugs to everybody. And I shall see you next week.